from Mama Bear Living Life, doing one of her Mama Bear mumbling segments. Just got off of work uh, probably 15 minutes ago. Started at 6 a.m., shortly after 6 a.m. Logged off, logged off at 4. And 4 o'clock come around and I was ready to get off because starting about 3.30. 325, 330. My it was either my work laptop or the computer program, the programs I use at work were starting to slow down and decide not and they decided they didn't want to function right. I'd click on click on like a document to open it up, nothing would happen. Wait five five ten seconds, nothing. Click it again. Five ten seconds, nothing happened. Click it again. Five ten seconds, nothing happened. Did it like five times? Nothing would happen. So I would get, I would get frustrated. And go, click, 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 and finally, it started to think. Oh, she wants me to open this document. Everything I tried to open up was like that. Programs, documents, everything. Five minutes to four, I was like, I'm done. <laughs> I closed all my programs out, went and sp splashed cold water on my face, used the restroom by the time I got done doing all that, and got back to my computer, my work computer, it was time to log it off. Log off! <laughs> and I'm out here. <laughs> Day was going pretty good up until about 3.30. Yeah, the water's, it's hot out here. Oh my God, I, it's supposed to be hot like all this week. Next week, it's supposed to be in the like low 90s. And, and I'm thinking to myself, I am hoping this is going to be the last week of this sweltering heat. I mean, you step outside. There was a breeze out here earlier. And I come out here and now there's nothing. But you step outside and you can just feel your body melting into the ground. <laughs> I've put cold water in my baby's, my fur baby's um, water sprinkler. I got bit by fire ants this weekend. And, um, and then I turned the water sprinkler on. As soon as I turned it on, Beamer heard the sprinkler over there. I got fire ant bite. I'm trying to get the pus out of it. It hurts. But, um, yeah, he heard the water sprinkler come on. And he beat feeded it. Beat feeded it. <laughs> he was just a running over there to water sprinkler doing his chomp, 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 chomp. And he's, and about a minute later, I opened up like the back gate. So I could go check the mail. Man, he heard that back gate open and he forgot about the water sprinkler. And he has not been back since. Did you go play in the water? He's playing with this new ball I fixed for him. They about chewed up the chuck it ball. I gotta throw that away. I can't let them have it now because I don't need them taking big chunks out of it. Oh, there's a red bird in that tree over there. I wonder if I can get, it's gorgeous. I'm gonna see if I can zoom in on it. Oh, you see it over there? Oh man. You probably caught just a glimpse of it. I don't know where it is now, but it was gorgeous. That bright red, it was a male, that bright red against that green. I don't know where it went. I love nature. And you can probably hear the train coming by. It's about a block down the road. Thank goodness they don't come by all the time. Man, that hurts where I got bit. But yeah, I turned the water sprinkler on for Beamer. And of 
course he's not playing it. There's Mr. Beta. Mr. Beta. You want to say hi? She's like, it's too hot to do anything, Mom. She's got that undercoat. But she gets... It's... I guess it keeps her cool. To some degree. That's what I hear, but... Got me. If I have underclothing on underneath my regular clothes, it don't keep me cool. Ah, sweat even worse. You hear the the water sprinkler hitting the um, umbrella. Yeah, I'm done with this heat. Hey, don't you look cute? You know you're not supposed to be chewing that piece of that stick. <laughs> Funny boy. I oh, turned around and I went, like, hey, and he rolled over on his back like, I'm not doing nothing, mama. Trying to look all cute. I wasn't chewing that stick that's all wet laying there by my feet. <laughs> oh, there's the red bird. He's back. Oh, I know what he's doing. Oh, he's bathing in the water that's hitting that tree over there. Oh, and there's, oh man, a red bird flew up on the bird feeder. <laughs> there's a female. I love birds. Yeah, that's what that one red bird, the male red bird, is doing over there in that tree. That sprinkler is coming down in that tree. And he's just a ruffling his feathers and just a shaking. The female is over in my dog's bowl. Get out of my dog's bowl! <sighs> I don't like them doing that. And then my dogs drink out of it. Well, I guess dogs have been doing it. They're vaccinated and everything, so I don't have to worry about it. I guess I shouldn't be too upset. They have a bird feeder over there, a bird bath over there. They got another tiny bird bath up here where I have all my bird feeders. My daughter-in-law came over the other day. She was standing around my bird feeders there, just looking at all of them. She's like, boy, how'd she put that? I think it was, she said something like, boy, they have a smorgasbord over here, don't they? I mean, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. Seven bird feeders hanging up right there. Yeah, I love my, my feeding the birds. There goes that red bird. I haven't seen the hummingbird today. Get away from me, wasp. <laughs> I know I'm sweet. <laughs> That's what I say. Other people might not think I'm sweet. But yeah, I have what I do over the weekend. I did work out in the yard Saturday in the heat. I think I posted something about that. Um, when I got done, I looked at the temperature and it was 112 and... I knew I was hot, but when I saw the temperature when I got done, I'm like, oh my God, I need to get in the house. I mean, my face was all red and flushed from being out, out in the sun. And yesterday, I didn't do, I didn't go outside yesterday until evening. It was probably after six for an hour. I went, came out here and I watered all my all my um, jasmine and all my new stuff that I don't want to die. <laughs> but I didn't. I stayed in the house yesterday because that sun. Saturday the sun just wiped me out. So I did nothing outside yesterday. I did clean house, did laundry. I crocheted a little bit on my rug. and work today and that's it 
they're so hot out. I'm tired of the heat. Ready for fall. Not so much ready for the winter time. The only thing I really look forward to in the winter time is Christmas. That's it. Fall, absolutely love fall. Spring, eh, I'm not so keen on all the mud. Flowers and everything are beautiful. The trees, the green leaves coming back out on the trees is beautiful. But I don't like the rain, don't like the mud. And summer is okay as long as it's not hot like it has been this summer. But my dogs are doing nothing. They are just laying here. This is what they're doing. That's Miss Davida. And that's Mr. Beamer. I have no idea where Miss Sassy is. I know she's out here. Oh, there she is. And there's Miss Sassy. Yeah. They're doing about as much as I'm doing. You gonna go out and play in the water, Mr. Beamer? Guess I could go turn the water sprinkler off. You didn't play in it very long. He says, you're going to get up and leave again, Mom. <laughs> he is such a mama's boy. He just loves people. He goes nuts when my son and daughter-in-law come over. Oh, my gosh. You walk in the door, you have to either sit down on the floor with him or sit on the couch so he can jump up on the couch and get in your lap. But you have to love on him. Because he will not stop until you do. And he's, yeah, he can be annoying, but it's cute how he, how he does that. Golly, that hurt. I think I have to clean that up real good. Got me on up here on my knee. I knew I had two on my ankles. This one on my knee, though. It's bad. You can probably hear the cicadas again. They've been bad this year. Crickets have been bad this year. Oh my gosh. I bet you I got a million crickets in my yard. And they're getting in my house, and that drives me insane, that cricket noise. I don't mind it outside. It doesn't bother me to hear them outside. <laughs> but I get in the house, and I hear them. It drives me nuts. I got, um, I, <laughs> I got home defense that I, um, I do my own, um, pesticide, um, control every month and I use the home defense swear by it you get it's called home defense you get it at Home Depot I swear by it it works good well the day I got tired of hearing that, that cricket in my living room so I got out my home defense and I am all over in, where that wall and the floor meet in my living room there on the front door wall I'm just laying that crap all over the place I haven't heard it since. I think I finally got it. <laughs> Beamer last night went out. It's the last time they went potty for the night. And he's got this thing that he usually about seventy five percent of the time he won't he won't he'll go out that last time but he won't use the bathroom. He'll just lay on on the patio. Last night, he just stood there, and I'm like, what's up with you, buddy? And he put his nose down on the patio, and there was one of them cicadas on the ground. And he touched it, and it made a noise, and that boy jumped two feet in the air. <laughs> it startled the bejeebies out of him. 
It was so funny. I got to, I got tickled. It's like it's. It was one of those moments you wish you had your, your, your camera rolling, because it was perfect. You guys would have been laughing like I was. I have no idea what I'm gonna fix for dinner. It's too hot to cook. I don't like. I haven't really cooked a whole lot for the past six weeks, six eight weeks. I haven't cooked a lot. I've eaten, but I haven't cooked a lot because it's too hot to heat up my kitchen. Even with my AC going, it's like, it's crazy. But, I guess I need to think about what I'm going to have for dinner. I need to think about turning that water sprinkler off because Mr. Beamer is not playing in it. And I need to think about getting off of here. <laughs> so I can think about all those other, other things. I hear diesel. I love me diesel. But I'm going to get on out of here. Let y'all get back to your day so I can finish out my day. So I can do it all over again tomorrow. Y'all like and subscribe. Do all that jazz. Put a comment down in there. Share with your friends. All that jazz. And another ant bite. And mama bear will see you later. Y'all live fierce. Be happy. And stay safe. Bye.